Today, we're not yeah. getting just one, but we're getting two cars out of the river. Stick around, this is one episode you are not gonna wanna miss. Today, we are back at Rogers Landing in Newburgh, Doug. Yeah. This is where we were searching for Ralph Brown, and when we were here, we found Three cars. Three cars. Three One cars. of them is a, a Pontiac Bonneville. I think that thing's been down there since the 60s or the 70s. We're not getting that one out of there. Like, it is so far, like, gone. We also have, do you know what the else Volkswagen we have Volkswagen Rabbit, we believe it is. I think it's a Rabbit. It's upside down. And we also have, it's Pontiac, either Rabbit, RX-7 or, or a Nissan 200Z or something like that. I'm not quite sure, but today I'm supposed to have five divers here. None of them showed up. But eventually, Doug's going to be getting his diver certification as well. Couple more weeks. Couple more weeks. You're gonna be in the water with That's me. Right. We have the monster magnet today as well that we put together. So we got uh, over there at Adventures of the Purpose, we ended up with uh, the 2,600 pound magnets. We put five of them together. So how many pounds does that make, Doug? 13,000 pounds. We're gonna use that to attach to the first vehicle today. We're gonna run a guide light down. At noon, we have the tow truck coming and our point is to get two vehicles out of the water today. So stay tuned. This is one episode you are not gonna wanna miss. So if this is your first time ever being over here at Adventure of the Purpose, our main mission is to go out and clean up the environment. It's kind of how all this started. We started finding cars, and then once we started finding cars, then it became a new mission because family started reaching out to us, and they said, you know, Jared, we have a lost loved one underwater that's believed to be in a vehicle. Can you come help us? And with that, we said, yeah, well, yes, of course, we can come help you out. And the one thing led to another, and now here we are. A little over a year and a half later, we have now solved 10 cold cases, finding lost loved ones underwater. One of them was a 30-year-old cold case of them being underwater. We could not be doing any of this without you. So we want to make sure that you understand that with your tips and with your leads and with the, your involvement, and especially with you liking and sharing these videos, please take a moment, share this video with five of your closest friends that believe in the AWP movement of not just cleaning up the environment, but also helping these families it would really mean the world to us. It's really how we're able to spread the message of what it is that we're able to do. Thank you for your support, and let's teach you a little bit about sonar today, and let's go get on those vehicles and bring them up. So, a quick lesson in reading sonar. This one over here, the Garmin Live Scope, allows us to see things in real time. So as a car pops up, like, is that a car right there? It almost looks like a car right there, too. Oh yeah, that's my Pontiac Bonneville, and then mm -hmm. that's my Rabbit and then you're gonna start seeing them pop up over here. So anyway, so this is a uh, live, so this is what's happening in real time. This one over here is more of a picture in time, so this is what we've already gone over. So this is down imaging. So this is shooting from the top of the, or from the bottom of the boat down to the bottom of the river. So you'll see like 26 feet matches, you know, the grid lines are like 26 feet. Over here, this is side imaging. With the side imaging, we're shooting 75 feet to the left and 75 feet to the right and anything that's black is the water column. So you'll see as the water column's coming together, it's also getting shallower here. So that's how you read side scan, down imaging, and live scope. So we're gonna go put ourselves back over those cars, Doug. Yeah. Let's go see what we're gonna find today. Great water clarity. It's gonna be... Oh, I love, it's gonna, gonna be so easy today. Yeah. Right, so let's head straight out, put ourselves right on that car. You got your monster magnet, Doug. I do. All right, so we have... One car we're coming up on right here. We have another car we're coming up on right here. I think that's our one upside down. We're oh yeah, that's our uh, rabbit that's upside down right here. So right there, drop drop your magnet right there. Uh -huh. Which side am I going off of? Right over the live feed side. Right here? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, drop it a little bit, but don't put it all the way on the ground yet. So now you can see Doug's big old magnet going down. I gotta go find the car again for you. So you're at 15 feet right now. How does that look on sonar? Oh, it looks beautiful on sonar. Nice and big. Okay, drop it, drop, drop, keep going down. But don't let it hit the bottom yet. All right, keep dropping it. Go down another 10 feet. You're at 20 feet right now. Keep going, the car's at 35. Keep going. And keep going, and another five feet, and hold it right there, and then I'll, I'm gonna bump you right into the car. All right, so right now we are four feet away from the car. 
So zero, four feet, six feet away from the car, four feet away from the car. We're getting closer, getting closer. And your magnet is coming up on it, right? Now, drop it like three more feet. Okay, you should be, you should be on it. Oh, we're on, Doug's on it, nice and solid. Oh yeah. That was a beautiful hook. That was a monster snag for a monster magnet. <laughs> I love it. I wonder if we could pull the car in with that magnet. I think that eventually we should go like back to the junkyard and see how many of our magnets it takes to lift an entire car. In fact, leave a comment down below. Yeah, that would be, that'd be awesome. To lift an entire car with Adventures with Purpose magnets? Yeah. So leave a comment down below. If you want to see that video, get this video to 5,000 comments and we will do that video. So we just finished setting up the monster magnet on the vehicle with the buoy. As you can see out there, first we got to get Jared in the water. Then we're going to get a lead line. And then we'll start working our equipment down, the, the chains for the rigging and then the bags and the tanks and all that. And here soon we'll, we'll be having us a car floating. Radio check, radio check. Do you have your comms in the water yet? <laughs> Alright, let's go find some cars. <laughs> Alright, down to 18 feet. Alright, coming up on the monster magnet. There it goes. Beautiful uh, connection on it. Nice solid lock on there too. That is, should be the Volkswagen. Fair enough, there it is. And if I remember correctly, we're gonna go back upstream a little bit, to the right. There's the Bonneville, as the top of it's missing, it's been down here for 30 or 40 years. It's full of silt, it's gonna pull apart. Now we're not getting the Bonneville out of here today. And up from Volkswagen, is the RX-7. This is what needs to come out first. So there it is. If it's the RX-7 or if it's the uh, a Nissan or whatever it is. Right, so that window is up. I cleared it last time because the front windshield is open. There's nobody inside. Our hook in this can get through a wheel here. Looks like we might be able to. Probably gonna be the best way to get it up. We can float it there. Try to get the chain through the wheel is what we're gonna try to do right now. All right, so we have the chain, one of the wheels. Might need two backs on this one. One more chain for this side. We're gonna go two pillow bags on the Mazda. There we go, pull that. Be pulling that blue line tight. That is correct, pull it nice and tight, please. Good job, sir. All right. It's gonna be nice and easy today. Uh, hooked up. Moving over to the passenger wheel, putting the other chain on. I'm fighting the second chain right now. I finally got the second chain. Woo! That took forever. Going back to the passenger side or the driver's side. Okay. Second lift bag is hooked up.
I have that one up and stabilized for the first bag. I'm gonna inflate the second bag now. Only has about a third full right now. Passenger side is now being inflated. The bag is about three quarters of the way full. I'm going to move the air back over to the other uh, passenger or driver's side and finish inflating. I'm turning the air on now. All right, the car is lifting. Everything is looking really good. Driver's side bag is uh, about two thirds of the way full. I'm at 19 feet, nice and safe. Putting more air in. All right, I think I need another tank. This is not breaking free. Like it wants to. It's so close to coming. I, think I can push it. Like <laughs> I can actually push it up off the bottom. Uh, let go up. That's so crazy. I can push it. Yeah, and then it comes back down. Like it just needs like another 40 pounds of air is on all it needs. All right, I need another uh, tank. You just need a tank or a bag? I think I just need a tank, but let me take a bag too, just in case. Okay, I have a bag coming too. Okay. Um, We're gonna put this on the passenger side. Yep, where the chain is. That's already hooked up. That's already hooked up. We're good to go. <laughs> It's coming. guys all right go ahead and pull it on over here Wait. Yeah, we got some volunteers here all right seven it's on its butt you guys pulled it in and that's hitting the, the shore so now the rotator when it gets here can easily finish pulling it up no problem, we're gonna leave it floating for now. The second one is the uh, rabbit upside down, easy pick. We're gonna use an open bottom lift bag and uh, one tank. I think it's light enough, it's just gonna pop all the way up. This is amazing for this marine environment. You gotta think of all, the, all of the contaminants that are we're, we're gonna be getting out of this river today. 
true. It's amazing. That's what it's all about. Today it stops leaking out there. Yes. So I have both on here. Good. Yep. The RX-7 is floating. Next, we're going to be floating the Volkswagen. We believe it's a rabbit. Yeah, it's a little hatchback Volkswagen. So we're getting out, positioned uh, just above where Jared's going to be rigging this car. That way we'll get a better, a better view of the car coming up and we'll also be closer to Jared in case he happens to need some help. All right, easy picking. Here we go. Twenty-three feet right now. Fish. Hey, fish. All right, I found the car. I'm gonna pick the car up by its uh, tail end. No, right here. I can go around the frame here. He's at 23 feet. Just got to the car. He's putting the rigging onto the wheels now. All right, everything is hooked up there. All right, the tank is now hooked to the back. The valve is closed. I'm at 26 feet right now. I am turning the valve on. Okay. Air is going into the bag. Now this is slow. It's feeling really slow for some reason. Hey, will you go get me another uh, tank? This is not filling at all. I'm gonna go grab your tank right now. Tank is in hand. There it is. Bowie's behind you right there. Okay. Okay. There you go. Thank you, bro. No worries. Oh no, I dropped the tank. I dropped the tank straight down. Oh no. It's straight down. I know a good diver who can find it. Oh, I hope so. He dropped the tank. Oh no way. Yeah. Alright, I don't see my tank anywhere. Pot over here. Where is it at? Found it! Yay! Jared found the tank. Woohoo! I need to find the car. Yay! I found the car! Woo! Jared did good today! Yay! Big high five. Alright, now we're turning the tank back on. Let's see. Alright, now the bag's filling up. Yeah, that's doing a lot better now. Bags fill it up right now. All right, the car's starting to move. Slowly, slowly, the back end is starting to pick up. The back end is off. All right, it's moving. All right, it's picking up onto its nose. All right, the nose is still on the ground. Think about uh, 300 more pounds of lift and it should go. In rocket right now. Back, it's a little over halfway full right now. It's going, it's going. Here it comes. It's coming. Many greater feelings, you know. This is this is awesome. It really, it is. There it is. I told you, one bag is all it's gonna take. <laughs> I like it. Josh, again, a pillow bag, or this is an open bottom lift bag that you made. Why don't you tell them where you can get these puppies? Alrighty. I am in charge of manufacturing of the 
lift bags. This is an open bottom we just used. Earlier we used three pillow bags. You can get these on the adventureswithpurpose.com website. Uh, I think it's a, a backslash lift bags. And uh, just go to the website and there will be a link on the home page. And uh, as, you, as you see, they, they work great. Uh, and I, I, I specialize in the towing industry and, and I fully recommend these bags over any other bags. And I'm not just saying that because I'm here because I know they work. We've recovered over 100 vehicles from underneath water. Yeah. These bags work. It's a good feeling to see them, see my, my work in, uh, in use, making a difference in the environment and the community. And uh, that my work is built well. I mean, we, we take a lot of time, a lot of effort in making these and uh, there it is. Make sure they know that you have a YouTube channel as well, all right? All right. My name is Josh Cantu, youtube.com slash Josh Cantu. I appreciate the plug, Jared, thank you. Uh, I make vlogs and stuff, and I also make uh, behind the scenes of sometimes when we go on, on trips like this. And uh, if you wanna check out my work, I'm sure there will be a link in the description of this video. You know, this is going really, really good. Like, it almost couldn't go any better. I even got my uh, monster magnet back off of there. Nice. That is something we're gonna have to use more often. I really like that on how we were really able to see it really good on camera going down on the live scope. Oh really? And then just the way that it wedged itself in there and locked into like what was actual left or metal on the car. Sure. So yeah, we're gonna use that again for sure. Because it's so big. You know, see see how it just pulled the uh, rust in the metal off of there? Sure. That's what you're dealing with down there. So by having a much something much bigger, we're able to just latch right onto it the first time and really be able to see it. Awesome, it's a great tool. Yeah, love it. Northwestern Towing, out of Portland, Oregon. Great company, on their own dime, out here volunteering. Make sure you guys go leave them a Google review. Look at their Facebook, leave them a good review. They're out here donating their time and their services. That's a lot. Like 30 feet. Okay. Rotator can get in there. Look inside them. Yeah, yeah. No uh, you know, I mean, we we cleared them best as we could. <laughs> Doug. What? What's this? So the RX-7, insurance fraud, straight up, all what? the way. He knows the kid wow. was bragging about it. This, this, like, yeah, my car just uh, happened to take a swim. Like, uh, like, I don't have the full story. Like, like I couldn't pay for it or whatever. But it was a like straight up confession, insurance fraud. Kid never said where he put it, just said my car went for a swim. I guess we're gonna find out here shortly. Yes, and he said red. Red. Like he told, we didn't even say we have an RX-7 floating. Like this guy just comes down and told us the story. Like yeah, if you happen to find an RX-7. Wow. We well, have <laughs> one, one thing we know, there is no car that ends up underwater for a good reason. That's, I mean, there's, there's just no such thing. So, so. Anyway, everything looks the same underwater. I think it's red, I don't know but he did also say it's a red RX-7. That's oh, story oh. number one. Wait, and there's more to the story. He also gave me a new pin location of something that we missed on the other side, just up from Ash Island, where he said a week after Ralph went missing, he saw a skinnier set of tracks that appeared to have gone into the water Whoa. right there. Whoa. As soon as we are done here today, right over there. we are going, like boat, like yeah. you, can, you can almost virtually see it it's up on the other side of Ash Island, well, island over there. Already. Awesome, oh, I can't wait to get over there. So yeah, we're gonna yes, go check that out. Amazing. And that's a great lead. Yeah, well, that's, that's huge, Yeah, it's yeah. huge. Jake, yep. That's what's going on that. right now. <laughs> I think we have uh, tow trucks coming cool. up. Well, okay. out and try to level the truck out as best as can be. Okay, what we're doing here is we're when we when we lower our landing gear we're gonna place all the weight of the truck and the unit onto these boards and giving it a bigger footprint it's gonna displace the weight on this not so solid ground right here. Five total winches on this truck, 50 ton drag, 35 ton mains, and uh, 15 ton turrets. Okay. 
Okay, so what we have going on now is the rotator is, is set up. He's got his uh, he's got his mounts down, his riggers. The two lines are going out. Uh, once we get some cable out, I'll be going down to hook them on up. All right, but Jimmy, thank you for coming down here. Anytime, I appreciate it. Hanging out with us. In fact, we're gonna put a uh, link to their uh, their business down below, as well as like a little fancy side logo and everything, like right here. Oh man, right there on the screen. <laughs> uh, like it's yeah. there. See, it's just right here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> So thanks for coming down again. I oh, really appreciate the opportunity. Yeah. Let's get an RX-7 out and the Volkswagen. Volkswagen and RX-7, you guys ready? Yes, sir. Are you doing the uh, Volkswagen first? Are you pulling Volkswagen? They're already floating, so it's like five feet under. I'm gonna get these, I'm gonna get this line right here attached to the first car. Yeah. And then we'll get it pulled all the way up. Hey, we're doing an upriver side first. Let's do Volkswagen first. Doug is just free swimming this right now. He has what's called a spare air in his mouth. It's good for, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 breaths. Since he just has to go down just a few feet just to hook that cable, it's just, it just allows him to stay down like an extra 30, 40 seconds. There's... Oh, you can see the car there. See the car. Just catching my breath. Yeah, you don't even need goggles. Look how clear it is. Are you hooked on there? Got enough room. Oh, okay. <sighs> What's leaking? Good? You got it? Good. Fast. Good job. <laughs> All right, you're good to go, Jimmy. No, we're not hooked up. Yep, you're good. Area's clear.
gonna shish kebab it. Alrighty. Hold up. Right there. Let's get this Dyneema rope off. Last year, we actually, during well, like when COVID first took place, we, and I'll put a link to the video here and down below, we actually took an entire RX-7. We did. We cut the entire thing up, like tons of different pieces, and, and we melted, melted it, it down yeah. as souvenir coins. Are there they're, any of those left? They're not. They are they're all, gone. all gone. So nobody gets any souvenir coins. But some, some people did. I'm having trouble. So the sheriffs here wanted to uh, get the VIN number from the Mazda and they were able to find it. Uh, the one on the dashboard was not there, but we were able to pull to uh, pry open the hood and find one there. this truck would be anywhere between six to eight hundred dollars an hour so big shout out to Northwestern Towing for they're out here on their dime donating their time their services it's amazing to have such a great company out here helping us out if you're in the Portland metro region check them out online on their Facebook leave them a good review well, we're not holding it down we're not holding that we're pushing it over so yeah, it turn it over. Head down for the second car. First one's already on the flatbed. This car right there. Almost. If you need a break, I'm still wet. I could do it. No, I'm good. Oh, yeah, Josh used to be a lifeguard. Yeah, he I can, can hold his breath for two minutes. Two minutes, he can hold his breath. Good luck. We gotta get it done, Don't right? Die. Game time. things that uh, Mr. Matt Moss helped hook us up with. Oh, you did? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Why don't you tell us all about these? 
Well, they're hydrocarbon only absorbent pads and you can float them on the water and absorb only oil. So that way we can extract the oil out of the water. Just like and that? Clean it up as much as we can. Wow. Now I noticed that it really doesn't, uh, it doesn't lift gas. Oil only, right? It depends on the product, but the gasoline is a light product compared to oil being considered a heavy product. And then with the gas, you know, some people are like, oh, well, look at all that gas, but the gas really does end up evaporating. Absolutely. And uh, the, for the most part. And the reason why Matt knows so much about gas is... I work in the petroleum industry. <laughs> Did you really just say it like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I work in the petroleum industry. You do it better than me. Yeah. <laughs> I ought to hire you. Hey, Doug, is your wife going to get pissed that you got oil stains in your shorts? Uh, I don't know. I think it's the other thing she's worried about. <laughs> <laughs> you missed this. Whoa! Yeah, this was bundled up right there. Person for vehicle. I'm like, that makes no sense. I got it. My wife's got it. Look at that. Yeah, look at the Another manual. Ready. Vehicle. And no key in the ignition. Back. Yep, you're ready. No key. Fire away. All right. Save the motor from falling out too. You want to grab those pads? We got oil. Oil, look at that. There's two right there. Right? Yeah. yeah. Right. That's a cat DV piece there. Oh, it's perfect. So weird. It in half. There's a lot of fishing lines on it. I feel like there's people fish here and snag on that car. Motor's falling out. Yeah, I know this one's gonna have to probably be winched up deck. Yep. say two cars one day incredible to play with the environment awesome again this would not be possible without everybody Josh you would not be possible without everybody so if you've enjoyed this episode the movement is possible by you liking and sharing do me a favor share this video with five of your closest friends that one love environmental cleanup and also by doing so it also helps the platform grow and the algorithm for us to raise awareness for us to go solve more cold cases as well could not be doing it without everybody involved thank you doug again we'll see everybody on the next episode later later bye bye